Uh, I am really excited to talk about our newest monster, the Fell Wolf. Ian, do you want to introduce everyone about this fantastic monstrosity? Why, yes. With the Fell Wolf, you're going to start with the Assassin. And the features are going to change slash lose are you're going to swap your strength and dex score. You're going to lose evasion, assassinate, light crossbow, acrobatics, which you're changing to athletic proficiency. Mm -hmm. But you, of course, are gaining a lot of stuff in return. First and foremost, you gain immunity to any bludgeoning, piercing, slashing from either non-magical attacks that are not silvered. You gain keen hearing and smell, which gives you advantage on perception checks that rely on, well, those senses. Mm -hmm. And you also gain the, the, the shape changer feature, which allows you the Bell Wolf to, as an action, pop into a large wolf humanoid hybrid or into a large winter wolf, which will use the crack damage instead of cold damage, yep. or back into its wear form. Its stats, other than its size and AC, are the same in each form, that set. Any equipment that it is wearing or carrying isn't transformed, and it reverts back to its true form when it dies. We're also going to give it the undead fortitude, which means when it goes to zero, <laughs> it has a chance to stop at one hit point, which is devastating. Because in one of the, one of the uh, games I ran, that triggered and the creature survived for like three more rounds because of undead fortitude. I don't care how weak it seems... That is such a great ability. I'm actually amazed more undead don't have that. Wait, wait, right? wait, 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 wait. Undead fortitude stacks? It, there's no limit. You just, every time it takes a hit, it gets a DC and the DC goes up. But you still have to roll. So as long as the roll is high enough, the dang thing doesn't want to die. And it is so much fun describing that. Like, ripping off its jaw and an arm coming off as you're beating it. And, and all this stuff. Just It's barely just hobbling along trying to beat you with an elbow. <laughs> I still remember one game where a, the players managed to take the fight down to one zombie, but that zombie would not die for five rounds. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of exactly what it, uh, is going on here. Uh, Brandon, do you want to tell us about uh, one of the... Its uh, reaction? It's one of its, ac its action that we're giving it. The action you're giving it. Mm -hmm. Draining Bites. It's plus six to hit for each of five feet to on one creature. On hit, it does 12 damage, which is necrotic. And, oh, yeah. well, 2d6 plus five, but yeah. Or 2d6 plus five. It nah, doesn't nah, nah. matter. Unless the target is immune <laughs> to necrotic damage, its strength score is reduced by 1d4. Time to die! 1d4. Target dies and the strength is reduced down to zero. Yes. yes. <laughs> you're an a-hole. I am. <laughs> Otherwise, the reduction lasts until the target finishes a short or long rest. If the target is humanoid, it must succeed on a DC 15 con save, or be cursed with the werewolf lycanthropy. Yes. The problem I always find with that, though, is, let's be real here. How many places we at? Well, he's going, bite me, please! <laughs> <laughs> well, and then they wrong? become NPCs. Yeah, but then they become NPCs. Like, okay. It depends. Then they, then they become, you become NPCs. An NPC, you're dead. Go by. You're dead. I turn against everyone. Um... <laughs> So lastly, we're going to give it the uh, reaction, uh, Unbridled uh, Fury, which in response to being hit uh, by a melee attack, did you just drop my Game Boy? Yes. <laughs> in response to being hit by a melee attack, the Fell Wolf can make one draining bite. Or a short sword attack with advantage against an attacker. Retaliation. Yes. Yep. And it is brutal if you are attacked by a thing that can infect you with lycanthropy. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> what do you guys think about this monster? Are you watching? See, this is why you don't go to porn sites. Just random ads pop up. That was your video. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, what, you didn't, what are you looking at my porn video right now for? You have porn on the internet? Did you see that look he just gave me? So what do you guys think about this? <laughs> I, do you guys think about this? Uh, I think it's devastatingly horrible. <laughs> it's meant to be. What do you think of the name? It does sound dangerous. I went through like 10 different names trying to come up with Fell Wolf. Fell Wolf. Where did you get Fell from? Shadow Fell. Oh. Which isn't actually a, an undead place, but that's where ghosts are sometimes, so... Anyways, this is a lot of fun. This is a really fun monster. It's meant to be dangerous. It's meant to be scary. It forces, with unbridled fury, <laughs> it forces the players not to avoid a direct melee encounter. Yep. Because it gets to counterattack with advantage. Um, and it's devastating. So, all right. Uh, I think that'll do it for our monster. Monster.